Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are halfway through this series between the Mayhem and the Charge, but everything is currently tied up one to one. Mayhem had an absolutely dominant defense there on Nimbani. Charge could just not make it very far at all. And then, uh, you know, a little bit of hesitation, some bumps in the road on their own attack, but they got there eventually. I mean, McGravy just did way more damage than the Hoppa did overall in a lot of those fights. They also had the high ground, so BQB could do the same. And I mean, it's a it's a rough situation when you just can't get that taken away. Well, here we have Kib still going to be taken to the stage. No substitutions, as I do understand. And he's going to be joining us on the Watchpoint post-show desk. So make sure you guys stay tuned after the matches have completed. Go ahead and get some insights from him. Yep. Got a little bit more spotlight for this guy. It was relatively unknown before Overwatch League. Very good player. Can Horizon. Sorry, go ahead. I was just saying Horizon is going to be our map. What were you going to say? Uh, I was going to say we could find out which hero he would want to be stranded on island with. Yeah, maybe. It's going to so, happen. Maybe we'll figure that out. Sorry. All right, here we go, though. Horizon. One of these teams going to be taking a lead unless they get to a draw. Yep. That's always possible. Always have to have that caveat. BQB probably just going to scout here, then head back. This is going to be the attack first for Mayhem. So we'll have this Reinhardt Zarya coming through. Defensive Winston from Rio. Once again, he did so much damage on the defense to start things off there on Numbani. Didn't lead to a victory in the end, but it was impressive to watch. He's gonna try to use this New York style push where you get the bubble and oh. then gatekeep everyone out. This is what New York has been doing a lot. Yeah. You get so much energy for your Zarya and you build ult charge at 46 at the moment. And now they can't get out or rather in. Makes it uh, pretty complicated to get back in. Rio waiting for the leap. Likely having to have this call come through from one of his teammates. Now going to be going up onto the high ground, contesting with them. They can make this work. Florida Mayhem. They work their, make their way over onto the point. Rio still playing forward. Nice knock down there onto the low ground. So Mayhem going to be rerouted. And the idea there was to use Chara together to cut Swan off. Didn't work out the way they liked, but it, they still do maintain control of this point. Mayhem wants to fight at range here, which is interesting because, yeah, they could just use the point, the tag, to force Guangzhou to come to them. That's exactly what they're going to do. Oh, Primal's going to be up. Hagoplan is going to be zapped into the back line. No support for him. No one coming to his rescue, so already one going to be lost. Now BQB taken down. It'll be cleanup time here for Rio. Trying to get the, the knockout here onto McGravy's mech. It seems like that's a bridge too far. Won't be able to take that one down. This is an, another problem, too, with how this went down for the Florida Mayhem was they did send McGravy onto the point. The tank line got disconnected. Hogglepun dying like that is something that should never happen. Yeah. Gotta assume that maybe armor pack off cooldown or on cooldown. Yeah. It's really weird situation. And now, you know, they're definitely feeling the, the lack of ultimates here, especially if Swan so far away from a shatter and they're gonna have to take this part they know rio doesn't have primal rage because he's just used it very recently it's halfway to another one but still they know it's not available so coming through here is safe again now they got to make sure chara doesn't knock them on their bridge side approach rio broke off from the main group they're not going for that high ground anymore just playing low working their way onto the point the first hit getting ready to be grabbed here we'll snag that nearly six ultimates up for the mayhem grab's gonna be set by happy one lock and down, pin comes in, Char gonna be eliminated before that sound barrier can come through. Bomb out from McGravy, not gonna find anything, but Chris gets taken down by Hot Bus, so an exchange on the Lucio so far. One for one for either side. Mayhem, however, in onto the point, the second tick, getting ready to be snagged. Working their way up, dive in the back, comes through from Rio. Primal Rage is available, and he's gonna pop it instantly, but the stun comes through, they melt him down, but he manages to get out with his life, but he's not disrupting the team at the moment. Goes Great back in. barrier. Sound barrier comes through. Now going to be matched by Chris, but he only gets himself. He gets just nobody else on the floor to Mayhem. That's going to be probably it. The charge should be able to defend this A now. A major botch, and now they will push forward, and everyone's going to be taken down. Not sure where Chris was, but it was... Uh, a very devastating position for Lucio, he, not getting his team. He may have been disrupted into where he wanted to be and knocked into an unfavorable position when the grab hits. That's McGravy's first death of the map, by the way. It will be taken out here. But it is now a very dire situation for the Florida Mayhem. BQB with low energy. You do not have a transcendence to deal with Happy's grab. His last grab was low energy, but it was enough. Especially when Chara, or excuse me, when Chris was unable to hit the big sound barrier there. One last shot. He's gonna have to take a miracle that you have to think. 
Yep, 10 seconds remaining. Made it up to 87.1%. Trying to go the distance, get that extra four minutes on the clock. Only 25 energy here for BQB at the moment. Hesitation Grab here. online. They're waiting until the last second. Now they will push their way over onto the point. OT gonna be forced out, but Chris the first one fall. Grab comes in. They lock Char up here onto the wall, but he's not gonna be taken down. Transcendent set from Shu. Keeps him top top. Bogopun doing his best. The bomb's in straight on top of the shield. Not gonna be able to find any kills. The gravy nor with his. It's back into the mech, but Swan's gonna be the first one eliminated in the back of all of these ults being thrown around. The Gravy now popped out, QP's already gone, and the charge, they've done it. They're holding on to it. 87.1% is all of the surrender on point A. Very solid defense here for the charge. That one missed sound barrier, that was the thing they needed most in that fight, and you know, it, it just didn't connect. Everyone on the side of the Florida Mayhem would have been back up at high health pools. They would have been able to heal through the damage after all the ults have been used, but because it didn't hit anyone but Chris, it was the solo barrier. That means that they're just, they're dead in the water. That was yep. the one ultimate they could not mess up and it didn't work out. A major turning point in the fight. Again, not quite sure what had transpired in that moment. Like you said, maybe he got isolated away from his squad. Maybe it was all the disruption coming through from charge, knocking his teammates away from him. We'll have to wait and see, and here we go! Replay will be coming in, so trying to join in with his squad. That pushes up oh, the top. He misses the oh, jump! Oh no! So that's what happened there. Okay, so he missed the jump, so unfortunately no LOS to get that heal across, or rather the barrier, the shield, to his teammates. If you take a look at it, unfortunately very weak stats. 0-3, oh, uh, and only one barrier created versus Chara. Stands at nine and three. You only want to see that if you're playing free for all mystery heroes. That's that's about it. Sound barrier created one. That's the only time that you want to see that stat. Tara on the other side, six sound barriers provided. So, you know, these are the kind of things that you do see in a matchup that's rough where Florida's being forced to enter from outside. A lot of these problems can occur. We will see potentially here the uh, Symmetra attempt to port to the point. We saw this from Atlanta once already. It looks like they want to utilize it to just avoid the comp and then get on the point. They'll probably swap once they see yep. what's going on here, and that is what we see. Unfortunately, it's just not a comp you could use if there's no Orisa uh, set up, because they're just going to chase you and have better damage out, but they're going to be ahead of an ultimates. Just like oh. Maybe a little bit of debate about what they wanted to go for, but yep. Happy does in the end swap over to the Zarya. Okay, so she's going to come into this point. It's going to be mirror matchup. High ground advantage, obviously, to Florida Mayhem for the time being. Weird jump there on the Winston, actually. That's going to mean that Charge gets free push around here. They don't have to deal with him at all. Yeah, does not zap them whatsoever. Does not route them outside himself. They will be pushing out that way. But the Winston, this is when you want the Primal Rage to be ready to be built up, because if you get that Primal Rage off, you start smacking them outside in space. Uh, they're just going to go floating off into the distance and get taken out of the fight. QB and McGravy already getting tagged up below half HP. Have to retreat. A lot of fire coming in onto the mayhem. Just They're on the back point. Down. They're on it. The first tick's going to come through for free. Charge working their way up. Second tick now getting ready to come in. Swan finally jumps into the back. Happy to have it away. She's going to be taken down. Kim gets taken out as well. Good start to the mayhem. Denying away at least that second tick. And happy to live would be huge, life. but he can't. No. Can't get it, Hoppa. He'll be get popped out of the mech and likely staggered pretty brutally, you would expect. He's yeah. gonna go right outside. Luckily for the Mayhem, too, Hagopin was able to build a lot of that transcendent healing on this defense. It's slow mo. Goodbye. There. But uh, now the, the big concern is going to be can he use it in the right moment, right? If Guangzhou Charge could force him to trans early then they're going to have a huge opportunity to get the most out of Happy's grab. He did lose his energy because he was killed in that last fight. He was unable to escape. So there is still hope, still light at the end of the tunnel potentially here for Florida if they can make this happen. Well, they had one stellar defense there on Nimbani. Going to take the outside approach again, perhaps here. Yeah, pushing Worked. their way through. This is a lot more dangerous when yeah. you take a look at Swan's alt chart. Exactly. Swan they're thinking could, about it. Yeah. I think they're probably tracking it. They're like, no, 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 I think he's close. Yeah, Charles probably tracking the ultimate says, you know what, this is just not worth it. They tricked him to come out here and wait, though, and now Swan's actually up at the front. He's vulnerable. Good heals coming through from apply. Grabbing away. That's going to be the grab coming through, locking him up. The instantly the transcend is pushing forward for Hongo, puts trying to find the kill, but Hongo gets two. With that, something struck. McGravy only able to answer back onto the baby diva, denying that remake. Now Kim falls up onto apply. Massive advantage here for Guangzhou. 
And given that they've already taken a tick, it seems like this might just be the closeout here on Horizon, working their way up. Looks that way. There's just no way to defend this anymore. Swan trying to use that primal. Not enough. Yeah, just he's not trying enough. to leap his way back. It does actually tag it just before. 0.8% is all that they need left, but Swan will get cleaned up, and the charge will be able to take it, moving up 2-1 in this series. Chris misses the barrier, and that's pretty much it for the map. We'll never know what would have happened on B, since that sound barrier did not connect. It's Charge who come in with a standard, normal attack to win it out. If they do, 2-1 the, the lead. Can they close it out? When we come back, we'll find out. The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7. And by Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League.